Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to teach you why we use multi-part form data content. Why we use multi-part form data content in ASP.NET Core? If you want to send image uh, from, uh, you know, uh, if you want to send a image from a consuming side to the API side to store image in an API then you must to use multi-part form data content okay so you know here we have a movies controller and i have an image in a movie just i want to create a movie that is the http post create and you know the create movie dto we have a image you can just go to definition and here we have a iphone 5 if you want to send a iphone 5 in a model like a create movie DTO and you want to pass uh, data from consumer side to the API and you want to put the image in, in it here then must to use a multi-part form data. How to use multi-part form data content in ASP.NET Core and how to uh, upload image from uh, image into API in ASP.NET Core. Before going to further, I'm going uh, to provide you a um, necessary information that is, I will provide you a complete video tutorial on .NET Core, Dapper, REST API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit, Dalton Blazor, and Unit Testing, HTML, jQuery, JS, CSS, SQL Server, Bootstrap, and React in just only 800 rupees, only one time fees. That is the one time fees, and I will provide you these all technologies video tutorial and complete source code it's not only a simple video tutorial or you can say simple video uh, courses uh, it's a project based and i will cover architectural based projects i mean to say that complete uh, da dependency injection based complete uh, you know uh, uh, architecture i mean to say that onion architectures solid architectures and and you know clean architectures based projects so i will give you better video tutorials and a complete projects based tutorial it's a scratched based and uh, it's a uh, you know a bash for you i think it's best for you it's a, a deal that is only 800 rupees for indian user and dollar 15 for other user if you want to crack this deal just fill this form and get the videos and get the source code and uh, you learn better i think i will provide you better code for others i think if you want to get the membership just fill this form that is your name your email id your contact number transaction reference id order id or paypal id if you are belong from india just pay using upi and if you are belong from other country like us uk australia and other country uh, uh, just pay using paypal and this is my paypal id and you can use this qr code also okay so just get the membership and get better code and learn better because i will provide you better video tutorial guys uh, not only simple video tutorials uh, it's complete based on beginner to professional video tutorials okay so trust me guys i will provide you better 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 video tutorials or it's only eight dollar uh it's only 15 dollar guys it's not uh it's not much uh 800 rupees only for the indian users okay so trust me guys i will provide you better video tutorials and learn more because study never ending you know so just uh, continue uh to uh media content you know uh here we have a create movie dto just open it first of all you know here we have a create movie dto and in the create movie dto where we have a title in theater release date poster and gender ids gender ids is based on your integer numbers and uh, poster we have a iphone 5 so uh, do not send any uh, things to directly json file from consuming side to the um, you know from the razor view to the uh, api controller okay so how to use this how what uh, should you use in uh, asp.net core so you know media uh, that is uh, 
that is multi-part firm data content must to use if you want to send images from razor view or you can say uh, you can uh, web application to the web api then must to use multi-part form data content if you want to send data and data have a image so uh, model dot generas id suppose a model dot generas id is one two and you want to send image also so just convert all the data in in the form of multi-part content so here we have a multi-part content and you know that is the new string content so first of all what is the string content is that is uh that is model dot title encoding utf8 model uh, media type dot name dot text dot plain and that title title must to use these types of things must to use a json file content and you know in the json uh, in the json format the first letter uh, is uh, you know a small letter so must to uh, must to uh, uh, check it okay and the next field is the in theater field and the in theater field is actually have a that is the boolean type you know so all these fields are actually included so in theater dot to string utf8 media type dot text dot plain in theater okay just convert in, into the string the next one is string content that is release date and the last one is the agenda ids you know agenda ids is a list of types so each of them is converted into the agenda ids like that agenda id dot to string and all okay now after that image content what is the image content so it's first of all the stream content model dot poster dot open read stream now after that image content dot header dot content type and media type header value dot parse media type names dot image dot gpack after that multi part form data content dot add image content image and model dot poster dot file name okay so everything is fine and you can just send these data with the help of post async url with multi part content if you want to send images in your uh, model and you want to send images from web application to the web api then must to use multi part form content and you can uh, try this thing and you know it's everything is better okay so just try this guys it's working okay so if you want to get the membership and if you want to get uh, the source code and if you want to get better video tutorial as well as the source code just crack this deal and get the membership okay thank you very much for watching this video